uh, in a few minutes in First Peter. Uh, in fact, we're going to do that by beginning, actually, with this second chapter. So uh, we want to talk about crying for spiritual feedings. Crying for spiritual feedings. Let's take a look at what Peter has to say. We're reading the New Living Translation. So get rid of all evil behavior. Be done with all deceit, hypocrisy, jealousy, and all unkind speech. Like newborn babies, you must crave pure spiritual milk so that you will grow into a full experience the, into a full experience of salvation. Cry out for this nourishment now that you have had a taste of the Lord's kindness. Cry for spiritual feedings. If there's anything, uh, of course, uh, that is bothersome. Let me, let me back up Eve before I say that. I'm going to take a look at this text. The fact of the matter is, is that your development is based upon your association your relationship, your um, the time that's spent in and around God's word. That's, you know, no word, no maturity. No word, no victory. You know, you could just continue on uh, uh, infinitum with that. And so Peter knows how important it is for the word. But look, but look at what he, what, what he says here. Okay, look at what he says here. All right. You must crave pure spiritual milk. You must crave, not nonsense, not just anything, but persons need to crave. And that is what I was going to say a little earlier, that it's bothersome. It should be bothersome to anyone. It's very clear in the unveiling of the church, the beginning of the church age, as you see in the book of Acts. You know, you do glean from it. Remember, it's not a policy book, but it is a book that you can glean from it how things were going need to get more of the detail from the epistles, such as we're reading here, as we share very often. But uh, one of the things that's shown there are models. And one of the models of, it, of, of, of our lives and what it should be about and the focus should be is the church at Berea. Uh, you hear me saying this all the time. It talked about the fact that the you know, old King James Version said they were more noble. Other versions say they, they were more serious about it. All right, well, what, what was that? What, what made them? What, what was the qualifier that made them more noble? Why were they more serious? Because they studied the scriptures daily. Now, why was that put there? Why did, you know, Luke write that? Why did he see that? He could have just glossed over that. He didn't have to talk about the Bereans. There's only a few verses as you look at it. But it was because of the fact that compared to others, they study daily. If you want to get the greatest and most out of your faith, the fullness that Peter talks about here, Okay, of your salvation, then you gotta have to be a person who craves for God's word. You cry for it. Now, it's not your fault if you desire it and you want it and it's not being provided for you. Follow along with us. Every day we will load you up from Jesus born again, from born again to Jesus coming again. You know, no part, no stone unturned that we don't. You know, that we don't provide for the people who look to us for that. Uh, so if uh, your leadership is limited in this regard, there are other resources such as us that will help you without taking away from your fellowship, but building you up so you can be a person wherever you are that's able to help and support through your growing and through your developing. But we're supposed to cry for spiritual feeding. And it's really bothersome. Uh, I know it's just not to me, but others, but other leaders. You see people, they just get caught up in all kinds of things. If you're on social networks, they, they will stay on. You name it. You know, those things that are shallow. Those things that have no value or little value. I mean, you know, it's not that you can't be a, observing of all things going on because we need to. But unless you've got the light of God's word to filter everything that you see, then that information as it comes into your mind and your heart has nothing to purify with using Peter's terminology. You've got to cry for feedings and pray that there are persons who will feed you. We will certainly do that, as we love to say, from being born again to Jesus Christ.